There seems to be a lot of drama in the Genshin community right now, mostly against two large content creators being Tectone and Atsu. I want to make something very clear. I'm making a statement about Tectone. I'm not defending Atsu, nor am I defending anybody else involved. This is specifically a sharing my truth about what happened with me and Tectone. A majority of this video will be a re-upload of a previous video that was on this channel. The reason why that is, is because Tectone, after our drama, threatened to strike my channel if I didn't remove his likeness. Tectone would have you believe that the reason why he decided to do this was because he claims, without any evidence, that I threatened to claim his entire channel. To strike his entire channel, I mean. And that's bullshit. And he knows it. Because what I actually said was, I would claim his videos that he made reacting to my content. And the reason why I said this was because Tectone reacted to five of my videos in total after I had asked him four times to stop doing it. Because every single time Tectone reacted to my videos, he was a very passive-aggressive douchebag, and he sent a lot of hate my way. So, after the fourth time he reacted to it, that video being characters I regret pulling for, I said, in a reaction to his reaction of my video, that if he reacted to any more of my videos, I would be claiming his videos. All that means is, I would get the money from the video, which I in assumed that if he wasn't getting any profit from the video, he wouldn't be entitled to upload them. But I forgot that he's just petty and always has to have the last word, which was his whole motive to begin with. Then Tectone decided that he would use this as justification to strike my channel, which basically means you would delete my channel. Now why would he want to do this? Because Tectone made a ton of unfounded lies and claims about me that he knew was incorrect and supplied zero evidence. And every single one of these videos is just him yapping into the camera for 10 minutes, making a ton of claims without any proof. And when I finally responded, my response was an hour long, with full documents, evidence, and links to every single thing he said, that basically just proved him to be a liar. And because his only defense to one single piece of evidence in that whole video was, oh, you faked that screenshot, he knew he had no grounds to stand on, and his only option would be to copyright strike my channel to get it removed. That video is now republished, and I will be reposting it here again. But before that, I want to give a little bit of context. The whole reason why Tectone tried to get me cancelled to begin with was because I got into an argument with him on livestream after he pulled a 17-year-old child onto a livestream to tell him how he ruined his financial life because the kid made a video a year ago talking about how Tectone's meta takes were bad. Sometimes, like, if... if I make a video, if I add memes to it, if I say I'm the judge of the Genshin court, if I add pieces of evidence, if mm. I give you a punishment that you have to go study quadratic graphs, do you not see the point of absolute absurdity that like, how oh, do you so, take this seriously? So, so, okay, so it is just a joke video. So you think that my takes are good? I don't know, I don't think you're taking, no, oh my God, no, but. So I, it's I'm not a joke. That, I'm trying to say that the presentation is so extreme just to like, Try. If I were this. to take someone's mom, put him in a clown circus, have all the clowns beat her to death with toy rubber bats, what? and then being said, yeah, oh, it's just a joke. It's funny. Look at the clowns. Well, the reality is my mom's still dead. You know, do you think me insulting, like saying your Genshin tanks aren't good is... Does that hurt you? Do you think, think really that sick? when my livelihood was to make money off of YouTube, do you think when I was $1.1 million in debt, do you think that when the entire Genshin community was shitting on me, do you think me saying, oh great, another dickhead made a video on me, I can't wait to deal with the backlash, when I had no money, when I was about to lose my house, what do you think that was going to do? You can paint it any way that you want. You can say, look at how much of a silly Billy I was being. The reality is you caused a lot of damage. I've caused a lot of damage. I'm just asking you to own that and not dismiss that as I'm just a silly willy. So I, using your point, I caused damage to you. Yep. Is there proof of that?
my comment section. Oh, is this the comment section? Is this not good enough? Because I can, you can just read the comments and people will say, I will never watch Tectone again. By the way, Tectone is the same guy that says that people shouldn't care a lot about Genshin and use that as a common point in arguments with me, which is very ironic because he's currently throwing a temper tantrum over three wishes. I saw that video and I saw the live stream and I made a video about it. I reacted to it and Tectone didn't like that. In response to this, I got into a call with Tectone, we started having an actual debate, but after I countered him like six, seven, eight times, I made him look like an idiot. And so Tectone does what he does best. When he knows he can't logically debate somebody, he will then proceed to try and make them angry. So as soon as I realized what he was doing, I fucked off. The next day, my brother made a video reacting to the whole drama, as did many other content creators, and out of all the people he could have picked, he decided the one person he was gonna pick was the person that outright said that he was my brother. This would cause us turmoil between me and my brother, so then me and my brother get into an argument on a live stream. Tectone then takes this clip of me yelling at my brother and tries to paint it as me abusing my brother. Now, to any of you that still believe that narrative, I'm going to supply two counts. I, hello, was the person doing the yelling. Um, I didn't abuse my brother. I didn't verbally or mentally or physically abuse my brother, but that's okay, because if you don't believe that, you can just take the words from my brother himself. I am currently recording this section on my own volition. Anything that you hear from my mouth directly is my thoughts and my thoughts alone. And in the same vein of that, anything that comes out of Soul's mouth isn't necessarily representative of my thoughts either. I am my own person, this section is my own opinion, and anybody who says it's not is entirely ignorant to what I am saying explicitly right now. All of that being said, Soul did not abuse me. Not physically, not mentally, not emotionally. We are brothers, we are dudes, and we don't get along very well. We just fight. That doesn't mean that we hate each other, but it does mean that we square off against each other. Anybody who has a sibling, rather be a step-sibling or not, knows exactly what I'm talking about. And anybody who doesn't, and says that this isn't normal, is factually wrong. I have gone on record on multiple occasions saying that he does not abuse me, and yet, for some reason, the narrative persists. I have mentioned it multiple times in live streams, community posts, Twitter posts, and in one such occasion, I even went live on my brother's channel specifically to talk about it. The only thing I didn't do was make a video explicitly stating that he does not abuse me. However, at one point, there did exist a video that was relatively similar to that. And if you're wondering why I didn't make a video that was more direct, there are three reasons. For starters, I didn't want to piss off my newfound audience by going against Tectone before anybody had a chance to actually get to know me. Secondly, I was pissed off at my brother because the fight had just happened and I didn't feel as if I actually needed to back him up given the fact that in my mind he did it to himself. And thirdly, given our rocky relationship, it was very hard for me to justify defending somebody when we we rarely ever get along. That all being said, the reason why I'm here now is because I no longer give a fuck what these bigger CCs think of me. And so, even though it may offend them, I am here to defend my brother, who is arguably infinitely more important than these people will ever end up being. And while I have your attention, let me go ahead and say this now. I am not stupid. I both see and acknowledge the difference in how I get treated by some of these bigger CCs in the community. While tech tone may be present, he is inherently distant. And I'm not talking about the gotcha cast. I did that to myself. The way that he reacts to my videos feels very passive aggressive. The reason I can appreciate that game to the level of which I do is because of the skill ceiling with the building. And Oh, just because you're a little kid, so well. That's okay. You're just a little kid. You like Fortnite? Oh, but if you don't like Fortnite, you're a f***ing loser. You're a well, also, if you don't like Fortnite, you wanna go to, wanna go uh, get on Fortnite? We can chug jug together. Eh, it's okay, Solo. He was a little kid. He was a little baby boy playing Fortnite. You know what? Maybe we'll play sometime. Does that sound good? That could be fun. Editor's note coming in on my brother's behalf. This happened right after the whole thing where he was on a podcast and every single member there made fun of him for talking too much. So doing something like this immediately after was in bad taste. I was asked to include this clip by my brother and I plan to honor that. And when he ends up praising smaller creators, he never mentions me. And it's not just Tactone, because Imtash himself in the wake of the gacha cast drama decided to wait two weeks to make a video talking about it and when he finally did, he spelled my name wrong. People in the comments were spelling my name S-O-L 
because that's what he spelt it in the title. When I called him out on it, he did not fix it. Yeah, sure, your editor might have been the one to do that, but it's ultimately your channel. It represents you. You had that mistake. You could have fixed it. You didn't. But what you did do was upload another video the same day that was you laughing at me, which remain. But here's the thing. I don't give a fuck. You're either gonna respect me now, or you're going to respect me in the future, because I'm not going anywhere. And if you end up hating me, that's tough shit. I do not need your validation anyway. And by the way, that's not me throwing shade to start drama, because frankly, I don't want to be in it anymore. I will be privating any video related to drama on my channel, and I will not be talking about it unless it comes to me. If you have a problem with me, you take it to my DMs and we will hash it out like adults. Because I am not hard to get in contact with, and that will never be an excuse. I talk a lot, and people think that I'm immature because of that, but rest assured, there is not a more illogical assumption to make. But that's it, though. That's it. Soul did not abuse me, and I quite frankly do not appreciate the lies that continue going around about that. I understand that I played a part in making that misconception as widespread as it was, but I already explained my rationale behind that, and nobody was innocent in that situation anyway. The only difference is some of us are willing to admit our faults. I will say what needs to be said when I think it must be said from now on. I'm done with the drama. It's over. Any further statements from me will be in DMs and DMs alone. I'm not making a video talking about it. I'm not making a tweet talking about it. I am not going to talk about it on a live stream as long as I remember to hold up this rule. It's over it's done. You have two choices. You can either grow past it, or you can continue being a petty child about it. And I've already made my choice. That's all I have to say. And just in case that wasn't enough for you, you can take these words from Tectone himself. About what you say and do. Because even your habits to not check into the things that you're saying, where you don't understand the root cause of all this happened, Judging people's entire relationships off of one clip, it's simply not helpful. Learn to practice what you preach because you did the exact same thing to me. If that's not enough to convince you, I don't know what is. That is both of the formally involved parties telling you that what Tectone said happened didn't happen, and Tectone himself contradicting his own actions based off what he accused me of. With that all being said, I'm leaving now. I will leave you with this hour and a half long video that I published at the time of the drama. Only re-uploaded now because Tectone threatened to take it down. See y'all next time. Stay safe and peace, peace. Hi there, my name is Sullivan. I'm the person that works on the Sullivan Artist YouTube channel and I'm dropping the persona for today. I'm not going to be angry. I'm not going to pretend to play up my emotions. I'm going to speak to you one-on-one -on -one because recently some heavy allegations against me have been made that are flat out not true. And unlike the person who made them, I can actually prove it with receipts over what has happened for the past two weeks. But by all means, I encourage those of you who don't believe me to go take a look for yourself as I will supply links to everything I've cited in the comment section down below. If you clicked on this video and you have no idea what has happened, well that's fine because I will explain the entire situation in full from my perspective. This is going to be a long video, so you're going to want to have to strap in for a bit. So how did the situation start? Well first, it started with a YouTuber named Flip. Flip is a YouTuber who I've had minor connections with in the past. He showed up in one of my live streams and we just talked for a little bit and that was really the end of the situation. I knew about him from his Genshin Court videos where he just talked about really trash meta takes some YouTubers have had and that's about it. Being the fact we both play Genshin, I watched him for a little bit and that was about the end of our relationship. He made a video on Tectone on May 30th, 2022, where he talked about a lot of the really bad meta takes Tectone has had in the past. He proved them wrong with facts and numbers, and basically explained how this is wrong, here's what you do instead. The reason why he did this is because Genshin is a very time-oriented game, and if a new player sees these videos by a person like Tectone, who just straight up doesn't know what he's talking about, it could be very wasteful to the person's account. It quite literally wastes their time. He has gone on the record of saying this multiple occasions, and had even said it in his video himself, but of course that didn't matter. A year later, on October the 10th, 2023, Tectone decided to react to the VOD on stream. 
and this is where I get involved. I had been asleep at the time and I didn't manage to catch the VOD live. However, at 7.24pm on that same day, I was pinged by one of my Discord members named Raijik, who was good friends with Flip and part of his community, asking me what I thought about the matter. At the time, I told him I didn't really know what I thought because I hadn't seen the video yet, so we arranged a live stream. At that same day, at 8.42pm, me, Unknown Gallery, Raijik, Mitch, Bramstorm, and a few other people all tuned into the live stream together, and we watched through the VOD. At the time, I was on good terms with Tectone as he had reacted to some of my content before in the past, and I was like, eh, uh, it can't be that bad. It was pretty bad. I am not going to get into all the details now, because I made a whole 30 minute video about it, but I can essentially summarize the entire conversation as, it was amicable at first, they, they talked to each other normally for about 20 minutes, and then as soon as things started going sour, Tectone began to railroad the conversation and bring up completely mute points to try and shut Flip up. Tectone claims that there was no way that Flip was uncomfortable, even though he asked his chat midway through the stream, and the whole chat said he was. On top of that, Flip had been told by Tectone that they were going to join the video to talk about meta because they wanted to talk about the video, and that didn't happen. Tectone was not interested in talking about meta, as he has said many times. He does not care about the meta, which just raises the question, why did he invite Flip onto the live stream to begin with? I'm not going to give or claim any reason as to why Tectone would have done this to begin with, but if you really sit and think about it, what reason would he have had to brought Flip onto the live stream to begin with, knowing all this information? But at the same time, like, if if I make a video, if I add memes to it, if I say I'm the judge of the Genshin court, if I add pieces of evidence, if mm -hmm. I give you a punishment that you have to go study quadratic graphs, do you not see the point of absolute absurdity that like, how oh, do you so, take this seriously? So, so, okay, so it is just a joke video. So you think that my takes are good? I don't know. I don't think your take, no. <laughs> oh my God, no. But So I, it's I'm not a joke. That, I'm trying to say that the presentation is so extreme just to like try if i were this. to take someone's mom put him in a clown circus have all the clowns beat her to death with toy rubber bats what? and then being said yeah, oh it's just a joke it's funny look at the clowns well the reality is my mom's still dead you know do you think me insulting like saying your genshin takes aren't good is does that hurt you do you Maybe think seriously? that when my livelihood was to make money off of YouTube, do you think when I was $1.1 million in debt, do you think that when the entire Genshin community was shitting on me, do you think me saying, oh, great, another dickhead made a video on me, I can't wait to deal with the backlash, when I had no money, when I was about to lose my house, what do you think that was going to do? You can paint it any way that you want. You can say, look at how much of a silly Billy I was being. The reality is you caused a lot of damage. I've caused a lot of damage. I'm just asking you to own that and not dismiss that as I'm just a silly Willy. So I, using your point, I caused damage to you. Yep. Is there proof of that? my comment section oh is this the comment section? is this not good enough because i can you can just read the comments and people will say i will never watch tech Down again i was gonna say because he said I, i'm ruined i ruined his life and like the video hurt him and stuff but like he was being super nice to me in dm so like are you what yeah and i felt really i felt really bad for those of you interested in watching the VOD of this experience, this VOD occurred on the date of October 10th, and it will be linked in the comment section down below. Now at this point, this is where I get involved. You see, this situation is very similar to an occurrence that happened a very long time ago. When Tectone was first new to the Genshin Impact community, I watched Tectone quite a bit. I was a Tectone enjoyer, and I am not so much anymore after recent occurrences, and definitely not now. Regardless of that, I managed to see a little scuffle between Tectone and another content creator creator who I enjoyed known as Jinjinx and Tuner. Now some of you, especially Tectone fans, would think that these guys were, well, monster hunter content creators, and they weren't. They were Genshin Impact content creators around the time of this occurring. And basically what had happened back then was the same as what had happened today. 
Jin Jinx and Tuner were made a video talking about a character that had just come out named Zhang Li. They objectively proved that on Zhang Li's release, he was bad, underpowered, and he needed a buff, which is fair game. If you're spending $200 on a character in a video game, you should expect him to perform at the level of other 5 stars, not at the level of some of the weakest 4 stars. They supplied data sheets, facts, and evidence to prove their point, at which point, some of their audience members noticed Tecton was making a stream. Basically, what was happening was Tecton was claiming that Zhongli was overpowered, when at the end of the day, he wouldn't really know, because he had Zhongli at C6, which essentially means you threw a bunch of money at him. So obviously, your metric of what is overpowered and what is not is going to be very skewed, and that it of itself is fine. You're allowed to spend money on the things you enjoy, and I've spent quite a bit of money on Genshin myself. However, the reason why this is such a problem is because Tecton was currently, at the time, making a lot of videos talking about how over power Zhongli was, and how anybody else who disagreed was wrong. So, when Tectone's audience found out about this, they started sending him the video of Jinjinx and Tuner where they were basically proving, yeah, he's not that good. It is at this point I would like to remind you that Tectone has said countless times that he does not care about meta. He doesn't care about it at all. You need to remember that. That is important to the story. So Tectone, as being a man who doesn't care about meta, decides what he's going to do is go onto Jinjinx and Tuner's live stream and donate to them asking if he can come onto stream. You don't need to be a Twitch streamer to know this, but when you are live streaming somebody else's live stream, your chat is going to go raid them. And that is exactly what happened. I also need to point out that Jinjinx and Tuner at the time were a significantly smaller content creator, only having around 30k subs at the time, while Tectone had around... Well, I don't know exact numbers, but I know it was well over 100k as Tectone blew up a lot when Genshin first released. So to suddenly go from having 100 people talking about meta to 500 people screaming about wanting to talk to Tectone, it was very clear that he was under pressure. Not only that, he had been donated. And that's not me making assumptions. Both Jinjinx and Tuner have gone on record saying this multiple times. I hate drama. I have always hated drama. But drama is inevitable with the kind of content that we make. The kind of videos we put out are trying to accurately assess the power level of new characters when they come out. This means that if a character comes out weak, like Zhang Li on release before he got his buffs because he needed the buffs, we're gonna be stepping on a lot of toes. And stepping on people's toes invites drama. And it seems no matter how hard we try to dodge the drama, it finds its way in. For example, we never wanted the drama that happened with Tectone when Zhongli came out. We barely even knew who he was before that happened. We didn't want the drama, but he forced it on us. He showed up into a stream one day, told him, hey, I'm going to call you right now, and you have to defend your views on Zhongli live on stream. He never contacted us about it beforehand. He just decided to ambush Tuner in stream while he was just trying to stream and do his job. And Tuner knew he couldn't say no because Tectone had several thousand, I think it was like 9,000 people in chat at the time, and any number of those people could go to his chat and start trolling it and ruin the experience for all of his viewers if he did not say yes, which is a real thing that has happened to other streamers. We thought that after that discussion was done, the drama was over, that was it, but somehow it managed to creep its way back in again a few months later. When we uploaded the VOD of that discussion to our YouTube channel, channel, we also put out a comment that explained the situation that happened and gave context to the entire discussion. Well, Tectone apparently took that comment as us shit-talking him. In his eyes, our attempts to provide context and tell people exactly what the situation was and that he ambushed us was us throwing shade at him. And so he decided to shit talk us for over an hour to thousands of viewers on a stream he had. Y'all, y'all want to razz on me for that shit. Call me a crybaby. Yet after he posted that video, he put out like public comments about talking how I was a fucking bully to him. Like even on that video. And was even throwing shade. While also using admittedly effective revisionist history manipulation tactics like saying things like he dismantled our argument in two minutes using in-game data and logic. Even when other content creators came on my channel, like when Jin Jinx and Tuner came on my channel, bro, I fucking dismantled him in seconds and he had to spend 40 minutes trying to justify his cause. Right? Y'all were there for that. I dismantled him in fucking seconds. I have able, been able to defend every single one of my opinions beyond a shadow of doubt using literally in-game data and logic.
which you can easily see is not what happened if you actually just went and watched the VOD of the actual discussion. However, he is the bigger content creator, so he can rewrite history as much as he wants and say whatever he wants. And he knows that his viewers aren't going to bother going back and actually looking at the VOD of this discussion and seeing that all of his claims are bullshit. And in a he said, he said situation, the bigger content creator always wins. And if you would like to see the entire VOD of both the interaction with Tectone and and their reaction to the situation, I will link both of them in the comment section down below. The debate went about as you expected, Jen Jinx and Tuner brought up their spreadsheets, Tectone brought up his opinion, and the conversation didn't go anywhere. After the debate concluded, Jen Jinx and Tuner received a lot of hate from Tectone's audience. That's about what you'd expect, right? Now where does this all sound familiar? That's two examples of Tectone going after meta players despite not caring about meta, bringing no evidence to the table, and then getting angry and sending his audience after them whether he intended to or not. All I'm saying is two dots make a line, and a line points in a direction. But the real smoking gun on the situation is as of recently, Tectone admitted that he always knew that Zhang Li was bad at C0. Now, let's just call a spade a spade. Do I think Zhang Li was good pre-buff? No. Will I ever admit that to another content creator? Absolutely not. <laughs> good God, man. And if that's the case, then why did you go onto that stream to begin with if you knew you were wrong? I understand you're a content creator, and I understand you are an entertainer, but entertaining your audience at the expense of others is fucked up. But anyway, we're slightly off topic, you have all of the information you need to know why I made that first video. I essentially got to watch Tectone do the same thing he did to Jinjinx and Tuner over three years ago now, do the exact same thing to one of my associates. Now, I want to make things clear. I didn't make that video because I was mad about Genshin meta. That is something that Tectone made up that he knows is not true. Like, uh, so I don't know what he would want to talk about. I just saw, I just saw the stream. A bunch of people ping me and they're just like, hey man, you see Tectone streaming with Flip. And I'm not friends with Flip, by the way. Me and Flip have talked like, talked like five times. Um, so we're not friends or anything like that. But I, I saw a big YouTuber bullying small YouTuber and I was, and it made me mad. So I made a video. I made that video because I was angry with the actions Tectone has taken, because this is not anything new for him. And to those of you telling me that I didn't have to stand up for anybody because both parties were unaffected, here is a screenshot of Tuner expressing his discontent with the situation and how it relates to him, who is one of the Jinjinx and Tuner friends, and here is a video of Flip expressing discontent with what happened. I was gonna say, because he said I, I'm ruined, I ruined his life and like the video hurt him and stuff, but like he was being super nice to me in DMs, so, like, are you, what? Yeah. And I felt really, I felt really bad. And to Tectone, who made a huge claim about how I'm mad over three-year-old drama and I shouldn't have made that video, Tectone, you yourself reacted to a video that was over a year old and made an entire drama out of it when you reacted to Flip's original video. On top of that, you yourself said there's no limit to making any sort of reaction. Here's the clip of you saying that. Well, I don't think someone who makes a video about someone should be so caught off guard if the person they made the video about responded. A year later? A year later. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Oh, is there is there a time limit? No, not necessarily, but Then what's the pro what's the proper time period? I'm you sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm just you gotta give me a second to process that. There, sure. there is no time limit. But you okay. said if he's caught off guard, bro, you responded a year later. So I find it very crazy that suddenly you change your mind now that this story does not benefit you. And honestly, I find it as you are purposely trying to manipulate the narrative to make me look like the bad guy. But hey. Again, I will try to remain as unobjective as possible, that is just my opinion. But at this point, we move on with the timeline a little bit. It is now October 11th. I made a video where I talked about the entire situation with Tectone, and I was very clearly angry in that video as I purposely play up my emotions on camera. This is nothing new. I have said this before countless times. In this video, I show countless examples of how the live stream was purposely fucked up, and how Tectone kept trying to railroad flip in the conversations. I will supply some of the clips of what happened in that live stream now and you can make a judgment for yourself but at the same time like if if i make a video if i add memes to it if i say i'm the judge of the genshin court if i add pieces of evidence 
if mm. I give you a punishment that you have to go study quadratic graphs, do you not see the point of absolute absurdity that like how oh, do you so, take this seriously? So so okay, so it is just a joke video. So you think that my takes are good? I don't know. I don't think your take no. <laughs> oh my god, no. But So I, it's I'm not a joke. That, I'm trying to say that the presentation is so extreme just to like try If I, I were to take someone's mom Put him in a clown circus, have all the clowns beat her to death with toy rubber bats, what? and then being said, yeah, oh, it's just a joke. It's funny. Look at the clowns. Well, the reality is my mom's still dead. You know, do you think me insulting, like saying your Genshin takes aren't good is, does that hurt you? Do you Maybe think seriously? that when my livelihood was to make money off of YouTube? Do you think when I was $1.1 million in debt, do you think that when the entire Genshin community was shitting on me, do you think me saying, oh, great, another dickhead made a video on me. I can't wait to deal with the backlash. When I had no money, when I was about to lose my house, what do you think that was going to do? You can paint it any way that you want. You can say, look at how much of a silly Billy I was being. The reality is you caused a lot of damage. I've caused a lot of damage. I'm just asking you to own that and not dismiss that as I'm just a silly willy. So I, using your point, I caused damage to you. Yep. Is there proof of that? <sighs> My comment section. Oh, is this the comments? Is this not good enough? Because I can, you can just read the comments and people will say, I will never watch Tech Tone again. Okay, I mean, your channel's kind of dedicated to shitting on other content creators. You yeah, can but pretty much... When, when I, yeah, but when I do that, it's like, I'm playing it up so much, but I'm like actually talking to you now, so I feel bad if I say it. I mean, let's be real. I mean, the comments that are going on your channel, you can't really like feign. Oh my God. <laughs> you can't really, I mean, you can't feign accountability. Like the accounts you let on your, or the, the comments you let on your videos are pretty insane. I'm actually, do I just delete them then? That's what I do. If anybody shit talks any of my friends in my comments or my uh, chat, I get that shit moderated as yeah, much as friends, I can. You, you're not my friend. Oh, I know. I'm I'm very aware. No, I like you, dude. But I'm saying, but you said you would do it for your friends and for like your chat. Uh -huh. Like, if you go to your recent video, do you know how many people are shitting with me? Did you delete those comments? Oh. No, I did that because I don't like you, right? Because you made this video on me that like kind of caused me a lot of issues for no Dude, reason. I caused you a lot of issues? Yeah. I mean, I apologize if I did. That wasn't my intention. What was the intention? My intention is to say, do you think I hate you? I don't want to make this uh Oh, my God. Oh, you're beautiful. Uh, <laughs> no, but I'm just trying to say... No, because... No, uh, uh, okay, I make my videos basically... Did my mic just cut out? No, you're good. But yeah, what, what, do you, what do you think making the video the king of misconceptions called crime scene do not cross, putting a clown nose on my face, or yeah, the clown wait, of the wait, Genshin wait, Impact wait, community, wait, Sekipoko. Wait, 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 wait. Do you, know, do you mm -hmm. not see how much of an exaggeration that is? Uh-huh. It's like, it's, I'm, the, the, like, the joke in the video is that I'm taking it so seriously when it's just a Genshin take. It's not that deep. Oh, so these, these are just jokes. Okay, no, 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 I'm saying the actual, when I'm actually criticizing your takes and talking about them, mm -hmm. that is like, serious, I'm trying to make like a serious criticism, but I play it up so much, <sighs> like the point of absolute, I say in the video, you, for the offenses you made to the meta and theory crafting communities, how do you hear that I don't break out into laughter? Like, I, I guess the I, delivery I, was mid. Okay, I agree, because I don't even like my old Genshin chords, right? But like, if you look at my more recent, mm. if you look, because I... I just but but you but this then. but this video is just a joke. I mean, when I call you like a, when I have you in, if, if it's just a joke, scene. then we're chilling. Are we chilling? <laughs> yeah, no. If, if this video was just a <laughs> I joke, I mean, like again, I'm trying to say like I'm trying to actually pick apart your takes, but uh -huh. I'm doing it to like such an absurd degree, and I think that is supposed to be funny. Like, a lot of people think that's funny. Yeah, I know, man. But I, I'm not, I don't, <laughs> I don't get this. My, the point of my videos is just to basically say, do your own research at the end of the day. 
Because Tectone's not a reliable source of information. Do you think you're a reliable source of information? Do you think Secapoco is? Do you think you are? Uh, some of my takes are shit. <laughs> okay. Because, uh, um, because, um, th- Jason, I remember Jason watched one of my videos. He thought I made mm-hmm. some bad takes in there. That's fair. Because, like, the Genshin meta isn't objective. A lot of people disagree mm-hmm. with each other, even in theory crafting community, it seems. So, when you watched my video and it was so funny that you were crying, what was the, uh, what was the funny part? funny part is when you called me a virgin and then when you called me fat and oh have you had you sex before called... no i'm a virgin i'm 18 <laughs> 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 i was 17 when i made the video dude, dude. Uh, dude. okay so like, i mean it's okay i mean i mean you're young you know that makes sense i i can see how you wouldn't understand how this these type of videos are like defamatory if you would like to see the full video once again it'll be linked down below if you would like to see the full live stream once again it'll be linked down below i encourage you to go watch it all for yourself and fully form your own opinion as i will only be going over what is important to the conversation now Now here is the fun part. Somewhere in that video, around the 30-ish minute mark, I made a claim that Tecton was very manipulative and abusive and I'm starting to see now why his wife left him, which was fucked up for me to say. But at the time, I didn't really care, and honestly, I still don't really care now. I even said right after I said it that you would try to use that to manipulate the narrative into me attacking you because of your wife. And you know what, Tecton? I was right. Here's a clip of you doing that. Just know that you have nothing else. It is all you have. And the most painful part is your chat is agreeing with you because they're just a bunch of cock gobblers that just want to worship you for whatever reason. Damn, man. I'm starting to see why your wife divorced you. That's crazy. What's even crazier is I guarantee you that you're going to take that one comment I said about how your wife divorced you and you're going to use that as the backbone of some argument about how I I bullied you and said bad things about you. And you're just going to completely ignore everything else in the video. But I'm ready for that because you're really good at doing it. Uh, You know what, man? Rules are meant to be broken i I think you know what tech Mm time it has been cool brother it has been awesome but this we've been talking about meta for what 30 minutes to an hour it's not going anywhere i think i'm done all right do you think do you think my wife should have left me yes (laughs) no no not really um i think i think that uh there's a reason why people do the things they do Mm -hmm. and uh tech time my friend you have a lot of reasons so do you think do you think that's what happened? Um, no, uh, I don't know. What what do you what do you do you think do you think my wife left me because I didn't play meta in Genshin Impact? When did I even remotely imply that? Well, I'm just asking. You know, you're I mean, asking you something just, you stupid. What? Well, how is like that relevant? Much, you don't like how much I don't li- respect meta players, which I don't think I've ever said. I think I find meta players cringe. Oh, really? Do you want to die? You want to die on the hill that you said you don't respect meta players? Because oh I God, are you? Th- are you threatening me? I'll have you know. I'm a former minor, man. You can't talk to me like that. When did I threaten you? Can you quit? You quit? Said, uh, no, shut you the fuck up. You quit, spout, quit spouting bullshit. I didn't threaten you. Oh, my you. God, bro. You said you want to die. That's what you said in that clip. I said you want to die on that hill. And there's the full context. Wouldn't that be cool if everybody used full context clips and not out of context ones? And there's the fun in this conversation. Dude, your conversation, your conversation's 90% of time with context makes it worse. So what's your point? Really? Like what? God, your entire fucking stream. Will, you know, I'm, I'm done. We're we're done. Uh, see you later, Tech Time Man. It was, I would say it was fun, but I was losing yeah. brain cells the whole time. Cool. Uh, that's about it, man. See you later. That clip is a little bit ahead of the timeline, so please allow me to get back on track. It was around this time, Tectone left a comment on my video asking to get into a conversation with me on stream. And as much as I would love to do that, I can't because I hid Tectone from my YouTube channel. That way I wouldn't have to see him anymore. Uh, unfortunately, when you hide a user on your YouTube channel, which I didn't know at the time, it deletes all of their prior comments. This just in, breaking news, I'm in the process of editing the video now and I completely forgot that I still have the screenshot of him asking me to come on the stream. The timestamp on the top of my phone says it's 7.48 and the request was sent 5 hours ago, so he sent me that around 2.48 in the morning. So there it is. One way or another, whether I have evidence or not, I accepted Tectone's offer, and later that same day, after I got back home from college, I immediately jumped onto livestream with Tectone. If you would like to see the full live stream, once again, I have linked it down below. And this is kind of related, but you don't understand how hard it was to find this specific link. 
He deleted the link to it on his Twitter page, despite not deleting any of his other links, and in all of his videos where he talks about the situation, he never once supplies any evidence or any links to anything he talks about, it's just him talking about the situation instead of applying proof that's in the exact same stream. Which, once again, I'm not saying anything, but I find it very odd that you seem so certain in your opinion, yet you refuse to supply any contact. So I go on to stream, and again, you can find this VOD below. I'm going to very briefly summarize it because this is old news at this point. We have a discussion. I call him out for some of the things he did for Flip. I managed to catch him lying and contradicting himself multiple times. And once I realized the conversation's not going anywhere, I asked to move on. Because at that point, if you've ever talked to somebody who's like me, then you would understand that once you get to a certain point in the argument, there's no point moving on. Tectone took this as a victory. He has said that because I refused to continue the conversation and tried to move on, it meant that I had nothing to say. That is not true. I don't want to waste my time having a discussion that is going nowhere. So we move on a lot in this video, which is every time I say, hey, let's move on. This is going nowhere. It's because it's going nowhere and we will never see eye to eye. I acknowledge once the debate with Flip ended, that was a pretty much the end of the stream. We talked about Genshin meta for a little bit, he gave his whale take, I gave my just casual take, and that was pretty much the end of it. However, once I brought up Jinjing's tuner, things took a pretty dark turn. Like always, we started talking about Genshin meta, and as Tekton usually does, whenever somebody brings up meta, he gets really frustrated. This conversation went on for about 40 minutes, once again, I supplied facts. He supplied his opinion, I caught him on contradictions multiple times or just straight up spreading misinformation, at which point I realized the conversation's going nowhere. I bring up Jinjix and Tuner, I clearly hit a sore spot, I try to tell Tech 10 let's move on. I say it one to three times, I'll see if I can find the clip for it, I'll put it right here. Doesn't matter if Jin Jinx blew up the United States, I wasn't talking to Jin Jinx, I was talking to Tuner. That's awesome man, but I, I you said that Jin, the tuner said he didn't test it. Which is correct. This is literally a video of him and Jin Jinx testing Zhang Li on release. No, he's talking to Jin Jinx, and Jin Jinx is testing it. Tuner is not. What the f are your secrets, Pillar? It's still Have you tried stuff. Shattered Geocomp? Do you mean my Noel battery comp with Jing Cho and Kaya? Hello. Yes, it's really nice. I like it. Lol. <laughs> you mean the better Shadow Comp with a Geo you character? Mean, yeah, you mean you mean the sh I'm not replacing oh, no, I with Jungle. Uh, we'll I'm see. So sad, I, I, I'm thing... so fucking sad. I know. I know. It doesn't matter if I'm married to someone and then they eat a sandwich. That doesn't mean that I ate a sandwich. What the fuck? If Tudor fuck? didn't test it, Tuner didn't test it. Tech, tech tone. Let's let's move on. We're we're going nowhere with this. We're going to circle. Let's move on. I feel like it's pretty straightforward. I do I'm too. I do too. But opinion. we're not we're not going to come to agreements on this. So let's move I'm on. I'm not going to trust someone's opinion if they themselves didn't do it. And that's awesome. You, that's awesome, Tech Tone. You can have that opinion, but we're going nowhere with this. So let's move on. It's the same thing for people when they say, "Oh, you weren't there, so you wouldn't know." At this point, I realized Tech 10 was really mad and he was not doing anything in good faith, so I decided to leave the call. It was at this point I was very frustrated. For the past two hours, Tech 10 has been purposely trying to make me angry, which he self-admitted that he was purposely, again, trolling for entertainment, which I might add, if you are trolling for entertainment at the expense of another person, you probably shouldn't be doing that. Especially when that person is in call under the guise that they were going to have a conversation like you claimed. That all being said, it resulted in the conversation ending like this. Really? Like what? God, your entire fucking stream will- You know what? I'm, I'm done. We're, we're done. Uh, see you later, Tech Time Man. It was- I would say it was fun, but I was losing yeah. brain cells the whole time. Cool. Uh, that's about it, man. I'll see you later. After the stream ended, I went on my way, and Tectone proceeded to complain about the entire situation on stream. Once again, I will not summarize what he said, because unlike Tectone, I refuse to put words in his mouth. You can go watch the stream yourself. I have linked it in the comment section down below. At this point, that was supposed to be the end of it. But it wasn't. Insert a third person, Exco Solo aka my brother and i will be referring to him as my brother he made a video talking about the situation and how he felt about it and he tried to play both sides of the story and he did that fairly well 
To which point, Tectone decided to react to this video on stream, and of course, he invited my brother onto a discussion as well. I catch wind of this, and I tell my brother, hey, it's probably not a good idea for you to go on stream with this guy. And let me explain why I told him that. My brother does not play Genshin Impact. He does not play Star Rail. He does not watch anime. That is Tectone's entire personality. What reason would he have to bring my brother onto stream the day after he got into an argument with me other than to use my brother as fodder to get to me. Tectone claimed that he was only doing it because my brother made a video talking about the situation. But if that's the case, then why did you, out of all of the people that talked about our situation, only pick my brother? Well, I have two reasons. Either A, it was because my brother was the only person that gave you a favorable outcome and you only want people in your corner who give you a favorable outcome. Or B, because he's just my brother and me and my entire family expressed our concern to him that, hey man, this probably isn't a very good idea. But my brother, being stubborn and wanting the views, decides, you know what, I'm gonna go onto the stream anyway. And we all agreed, we had a long conversation about it, that the only stipulation would be he cannot talk about me because we didn't want some random guy on the internet using my brother as a spade to get to me. He agreed, he went on stream, it was cool, it was dandy. That was the end of the situation. But you know what? Tectone wasn't done with me at this point. You see, Tectone tries to paint the narrative that I, Sullivan, was constantly talking shit about him and I couldn't stop talking about him for the course of the past few weeks, and it was completely unprompted. Well now, I have to prove that it wasn't. And unlike Tectone, who supplied no evidence to the matter of his point, I have plenty to the matter of my point. So let's start with this list. For those of you that don't know to what list I'm referring, please allow me to read it. At five days ago, this was the final thing I said about Tectone before I went silent on the matter. Final bit of Tectone lore for those not keeping pace and wondering why I seem very annoyed in my recent video. Tectone tried to raid my Discord server live on stream. Tectone continues to talk shit about me despite not caring about me. Tectone continues to react to my shit and content on stream after I told him not to. Tectone went after my brother and dragged him into a live stream after I got off stream with him. Tectone continues to claim that me and him are still on good terms. Tectone claims he's open for a conversation, but the second I got off stream, he admitted he was not taking the conversation seriously the entire time and was purposely trying to make me upset. Tectone admitted to knowing C0 Zhongli was bad post-stream, which in and of itself doesn't matter. But that that means that he harassed Jinjing's tuner over the course of four months when he knew he was wrong the whole time. Tectone claims that all of this is not true. He also claims that I have been non-stop talking about him with no prompt. This is also not true. Pretty much everything I've said about you has been prompted. So let's start going down this list, shall we? First things first. You did raid my Discord server. Matter of fact, you did it the same day you brought my brother into a live stream. So let's tackle both these points at the same time. For those of you that don't believe me, by all means, again, links are down below. Go watch the VOD for yourself. If the VOD links mysteriously disappear, well then you know why. On October 14th at 1.43 p.m., I get a ping from one of my moderators claiming that we have an emergency and that Tectone is in the Discord server. Personally, I didn't really care, and I still don't care now if Tectone's in my Discord server because I believe that you should be able to say things to people's face as you do behind their back. And Tectone, I know you're gonna watch this, I have said nothing behind your back that I didn't say to your face on stream. So we just let it ride. And then, suddenly, we get 40 members, just out of nowhere and then 50, and then 60, and then 70, and then 80, and then 90. What happened? Well, Tectone decided that it was going to be a good idea to live stream my Discord the day after we had an argument on his own stream in order to do what? I don't know. But what I do know was there were people spamming links to my server in the chat and both he and his mods didn't do anything to stop it. This entire time, he is literally live streaming the Discord. Bro. It's actually concerning how important this matter is to outside parties. Truly There's a tragic thing for these people. There's 52 pages. Of people just saying my name. Almost three years, bro. Eggy love Eggy star. There's 52 pages 
of people just saying my name. When will you do an MTG stream? Cracking pack CDH. Like the MTG That is the craziest the shit man. I've ever seen in my entire life. Whether you intended to or not, you raided my server. You did nothing to stop it, and you actively let people spam links. And you claim that I lied about that. That wasn't a lie. That is what you did. Did I do anything to stop the raid? No. Because unlike you, I don't ban people from my YouTube channel because they say things I don't like. Once again, if anybody says that I'm that was untrue and that Tecto never said that, here's him saying it right now. I mean, let's be real. I mean, the comments that are going on your channel, you can't really like feign. Oh my god. You can't really, I mean, you can't feign accountability. Like the accounts you let on your, or the, the comments you let on your videos are pretty insane. I, do I just delete them then? That's what I do. If anybody shit talks any of my friends in my comments or my uh, chat, I get that shit moderated. So I unlocked the server, because one of my moderators raw and locked it without telling me. I unlock the server, and I tell them that they're allowed to stay, and as long as they don't cause problems, it'll be fine. Because I want it to be fair. That was a mistake, and we'll get to that later. So that's the first point that you said I lied about that's true. Let's talk about the second point, you dragging my brother onto livestream. You claim that that's not true either. There is literally an entire VOD of you and my brother talking on livestream, and you tried to paint the narrative that I said you dragged him on there as if I you forced him, when I never said that. All you did was, you brought my brother onto livestream. Which you did! And why would you have to do that? It's very simple, because he's my brother. You wanted to use my brother against me. Now, again, you can claim that it wasn't your intention, but your recent actions have proved that that is not the case. So let's move on a little bit some more. Next thing on the list. Tectone has been talking about me non-stop unprompted. Tectone claims that I talked about him unprompted for a very long time. That is not true. Unlike you, Tectone, I made no videos talking about you. I didn't even make reference to you. You talked about me. The only evidence you supplied, and even if you can call it evidence, is people in my Discord server talking about you. They aren't me, alright? I'm me. And I will admit, I have been talking about you in voice chats with my friends, alright? But you didn't know that. You had no evidence of that happening. You just claimed, completely on a whim, that I was talking about you non-stop and unprompted, and that didn't happen. Now let's go over the parts where you talked about me. Four days after the so-called drama had ended, you posted a VOD to your Twitch channel where you were talking about one of my videos and you were reacting to it live. In that reaction, you completely misrepresented what I said, you were entirely negative towards me because I said an opinion about Genshin topics that you didn't like. Once again, I find that very ironic because you claim that I get mad at you all the time over Genshin meta, yet you did the exact same Thing. And do you want to know how I know this reaction even happened to begin with? Take a guess, because every time you talk about me on stream, I get a wave of hate comments every single time. That <laughs> Speaking of which, let's talk about the Steak and Eggs podcast. I used to watch that podcast. I think it's a good podcast. I like Asmongold. I like, oh, I don't really like Emma because I don't watch her. I don't really know her. And I used to like you, Tectone. I thought you were a hell of a lot better. But on the Steak and Eggs podcast, you started ranting about me there as well. I invited him to come to my podcast. We hashed things out. We're good. We're done. Well, that's boring. What happened after that? <laughs> So this other guy. <laughs> okay, thank God. Oh, thank this, God. This other guy <laughs> thinks he's like the Batman of okay. the Genshin community. Right. And he's going to say he's all gonna the things. He's going to take you to task. Exactly. Yeah, he's going to hold you accountable. Yep. He he came to defend, defend Flip, uh -huh. a guy who didn't even want to be defended. <laughs> right? Okay. And he makes this whole video and he calls me the king of cyberbullying. And do you want to guess what happened? That's right, I got a shit ton of more hate comments. On top of that, you continue to talk about me and make references to our situation nonstop on live channel while I talked about it privately with my friends behind closed doors. Yet I am somehow the one bringing up the drama. No, Tectone, I wasn't. And unlike you, I have literal VODs of you still bringing it up 
to this day, which again, for anybody that's interested, they're linked in the comment section down below. But of course, I need to disprove Tectone's point. The last public reference I made to Tectone, well, there's two of them. The first one was in the Characters I Regret Pulling For video, which was posted eight days ago, over a week ago, and all I said was that I don't purposely try to make the meta players mad like Tectone does. I have Tartalia, because I really just like the meta players being angry at me, because I also put Raiden on this list. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not Tectone. I don't purposely try to make meta players angry. In Tectone, you can be mad about that all you want. You self-admitted that you do that. Other than that, the final reference to you I made was a video reacting to your reaction the day it happened, which I deleted the video. And here's why I deleted that. Oh, I, I, I private it. And let me tell you why I private it. That video was a message to Tectone. I had told Tectone beforehand to stop reacting to my content live on stream, and that it does nothing good for me as his audience continuously tries to attack me. Tectone did not listen. Every single time he makes one of those videos, it hurts me algorithmically, because I get a fucking wave of hate comments every time. I brought this up to you, Tectone. You ignored me, and you did it anyway. So I made a video essentially claiming all my grievances with you, and I know you saw it because you left a comment on it, at which point I took down the video, because the video was meant for you and for nobody else. Once I know you saw it, I took it down. That way, you couldn't react to it on stream and continue the drama. After that, I moved on. I didn't mention you at all. But you just couldn't do that. Five days pass. I have gotten shit pretty much non-stop by Tectone's audience. They are now in my Discord server. Remember how I said I didn't ban them before? Yeah, well, I regretted that situation. Because, unfortunately, there were a lot of troublemakers in the server purposely trying to piss me off. And most of the time, I ignored it. So now, I have Tectone's audience in my Discord server, which is the only place where I talk to my friends, and I have people in my comment section, which is where I go for fun, purposely shitting on me non-stop because Tectone can't stop talking about me to save his life. Again, I need to remind you, I have not said anything publicly about Tectone for over a week at this point. The drama is finally starting to die. And then my brother steps back into the ring. My brother told me that he was going to be making a video about Tectone, at which point I told him that I was not comfortable with him doing that, and that I would really like for him to not, because at this point the drama was over, it was done, Tectone was in another drama with some people at TwitchCon because he, he's really good at that, and I just wanted to move on with my life. I asked him not to do it. I thought he listened to me, and to anybody that wants a claim that didn't happen, here are the logs where I expressed my discontent with my brother, where I told him that I was not comfortable with him doing it, and I thought the situation would have ended there. For the, again, for those of you that don't believe me, here is a comment I left on another YouTuber's video that morning, basically saying that the situation is done and over, and Tecton has moved on to another drama, because at this point, I genuinely thought it was over. Six hours later. My brother uploads the video on October 24th, a week after the drama was finally over. I had made it very clear to him that I would not be happy if he did that, and he flat out ignored me. And for a little bit of context, my relationship with my brother, it's not very great. We have known each other for 20 years, and only in the past few months have we finally started to be on good terms. So it really, really hurt my feelings when the person who was supposed to have my back through thick and thin, in a situation where I had been getting harassed non-stop for the past week, decided that he was going to rekindle all of the fucking problems I had been having again. Not even 10 minutes after that video uploaded, the, the comments had stopped for two days at this point, do you want to guess what happened pretty much immediately? That's right, I started getting the comments again, and I'm pissed, because I told my brother not to do it, and he flat out fucking ignored me. So I go upstairs with the purpose of having a conversation with him about it. He was live streaming. I didn't know that when I started the conversation. I went in, I started talking to him, and then somewhere along the lines, he brings us something about, we're on live stream. At that point, I didn't care. I was in my emotions. I was fucking mad. And I'm the type of person that I don't ever get mad at. Again, Tectone claims that I'm mad in all my videos. I'm not. You haven't seen me mad. That clip, that's me mad. I bottle up my emotions for a very, very long time, and I have about one or two outbursts a year. Some result in screaming, but most of them involve me breaking down and fucking sobbing. But that's irrelevant. 
The point is, it's unhealthy, but it's what I do. At this point, I unwind two weeks worth of anger onto my brother. Was that the good thing to do? Was that the healthy thing to do? Was that a smart thing to do? No, but I was in my emotions, and I did it anyway, and what happened, happened. I yelled at my brother, I told him exactly what I just said now, how it was done, it was over, and he just sparked more drama and made more problems for me when he should have just left it alone, and I told him that he did it all for YouTube views, which is all true. That is exactly what happened, and I was angry at him for it. On my way out of the door after screaming at him, I slammed the door because I was pissed off, at which point a painting falls and it hits the floor. And now, there are some armchair psychologists trying to say, based off this one clip, that I, I'm a 22-year-old man that's physically abusing my younger brother, my younger autistic brother, and I'm beating him and I'm just emotionally abusive. So let me say something to all those people. You are judging my entire relationship on my brother based off of one interaction I had where I was pissed off at him for purposely ignoring me and you had no context. For all of the people that are trying to say that I'm abusing my brother based off one situation, my brother himself has said that I didn't abuse him. It's on his YouTube community tab, you can go look for yourself. And I know I didn't abuse him, so both of the involved parties are claiming that it was an abuse, and now a bunch of people that think they know their relationship better than me are trying to claim that it was. So let me fill you in on something. Me and my brother were identical twins. I've known my brother for longer than he's been alive. We were the same person at one point. I will take a fucking bullet for my brother. I absolutely love my brother. He is the best friend I could have ever had. That being said, we are brothers. We argue. That is just what we do. It is nothing outrageous. That being said, there is one specific individual who just can't get over the situation. You see, 10 minutes after this discussion ended and my brother in stream, I went to his bedroom, I apologized to him, I told him I shouldn't have done that, and we made up. But then guess who started a live stream? That's right, Tectone. Tectone pulls up the live stream, after my brother has already tried to delete the VOD, he's working on deleting the VOD, he's telling people not to clip it, Tectone decides that he knows what's best for both the involved parties, and he pulls up the live stream and watches the whole thing on stream, and then goes on a rampant tirade claiming that I, I am beating my brother, and I'm abusive to my younger brother, my younger autistic brother, when that didn't happen. All the while, my brother is trying to get in contact with Tectone through both Discord and through Twitch, asking him to stop, to which Tectone tells him no. Now Tectone, I'd like to ask you, if you really care so much about what happened between me and my brother, then why would you tell the so-called victim in the situation no? It's very simple. You don't actually care about what my brother thinks. You were trying to use that as a way to get back at me because you don't like me. And before you try to claim that that's not true, even my brother acknowledged that you don't like me and that was the only reason why he would have done that. And also, Tectone, you are a 30 year old man sticking your nose into the family business of two brothers and trying to paint the narrative in a way that both of the involved parties have said is not true. And because you have a bigger audience, you know that that is what people are going to believe. You are the bad guy in this situation. You don't know my relationship with my brother. You don't know his relationship with me. You are trying to imply that one week of pure anger at the shit you have caused for me is the result of our entire relationship when you know that is not true. What you are doing is blatantly lying and manipulating a story to harass me because you don't like me. You made the claim that you were going to excommunicate me from your entire situation and that you don't want to talk to me anymore. Tectone. I blocked you on Twitter and YouTube a week ago. I don't want anything to do with you either. And if you really believe yourself so hard to the point where you're not going to associate with anybody that associates with me, then you need to leave me and my fucking family alone. Because guess what, Tectone? My brother is still my brother. Our blood is thicker than water, and you're not about to drive a wedge between me and my family because you think you know what's going on. You should have never been involved with the situation to begin with. You shouldn't have made a video ranting about the situation. Me and my brother have both asked you to stop, and you continue to do it. So, okay, so according to Tectone, I'm a pedophile. That's not true. I'm an abuser. I beat you. 
and uh, I'm, I, I'm, I, I, I participate in domestic abuse. Uh, to that term, what do you say? As the victim of the situation, the quote unquote victim of the situation. I'm really not a victim here. I cried. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to play middleman with tech though. I mean, I know that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not about to step on the man's toes. But I don't appreciate misinformation about the situation either. Come on. Yeah, no, I'm good. Don't worry, guys. I'm fine. My brother has never hit me. He does, well, he, he, he does, but, I mean, I hit him, too. <coughs> we actually have boxing gloves <coughs> for the express purpose. That's, that's not, that's not a lie, by the way. We both have a pair. We beat the shit out of each other from time to time. It's great. It's, of course, it's, it's a match that's, like, set up and it's monitored in case something goes wrong, but, you know, whatever. Why am I lying? I'm not lying, though. Yeah, we're twins. Why the fuck? Yes, no, no, my friend. We're not twins. I'm just kind of in his house. No. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're twins. I guess in regards to what happened yesterday, would you say Tectone grossly misrepresented the situation? I don't think he misrepresented. I think he misunderstood. He said, I'm a, tw I'm a 22 year old man that beat you, my autistic younger brother, on stream. Is that true? You're autistic, too. I know. And, and you're older than me. Is that true, yes or no? I mean, that statement's not true, no. So Why is Solo, your... can you impersonate Rick from Rick and Morty? I can't, no. Why is your brother on the mic? Because chat said I abuse him and our relationship is ruined, and that's just not I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fight Goofy. Go for it. He's like the only boss I know how to fight. He's like... Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to weigh in on the tech tone v soul matter anymore. I'm just gonna say my brother did not abuse me. I don't appreciate... The don't get me wrong, like verbally, he's a total butt bunch, but I mean, like, that's just family. I, I appreciate people coming up to bat for me, but it's really not necessary. That all being said, to those of you that still think I'm in the wrong for uh, abusing my brother and that I uh, abusing, quote unquote, my brother, and I should apologize, I did apologize, but because I didn't apologize on stream, you think you know what I did. Okay, well guess what? There is an apology on my brother's channel where I interacted with him. Why? What are you gonna do? Don't leave! I'm not- no, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving, you're fine, okay? What? What are you gonna say? I'm not gonna get mad and I'm not gonna leave, what were you gonna I, say? I know- I, I know you will. I'm not going to get- Soul. No. I'm not- s fucking say it. Oh, I will leave. Um. I I don't I don't know I don't know how to fix this. Getting accused for something I didn't do. And I know you didn't do it. <laughs> I I get it. You're fine. I don't I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's look. You're fine. We're gonna fix it. I'm going to help you fix it. Stop crying. I promise, I will help you fix this. <laughs> Please, calm down. <laughs> God damn it, now I'm gonna cry. Look, you're... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Look, you'll look. <laughs> you're fine. I'm now, getting told that I fucking beat my brother. I fucking love my brother. <laughs> I, I got mad because I really hurt my feelings. So I got mad at you and I yelled at you and I admit I shouldn't have. <laughs> I didn't fucking beat my brother. <laughs> what happened when you came into my room? What did you do? <laughs> Specifically, what did you... <laughs> look, listen, I need you to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. 
No, look. Don't, hey. You don't know how I feel. <laughs> I know pretty damn well. Listen. <laughs> listen. You'll be fine. <laughs> I need you to tell me what happened when when you came. I need you to tell me verbatim what happened when you came into my room and everybody <laughs> thought you abused me. What actually transpired? And I will be right here to validate if it is correct. I, I got mad. Uh huh. Okay. For fucking weeks. For fucking weeks. I got shit from Tech Fair. He just couldn't shut the fuck up about me. He finally stopped. He finally stopped. And I was told, I, I think it was by Brim, you were going to make that fucking video. And I told you not to do it. And I, I should have explained how I felt, but I, I didn't want to. Because I've, I've never. I've never been good at showing my emotions, and you know that. And I fucking an hour later, like five hours later, when you upload the fucking video, I immediately started getting shit for it. And I went into a room, and I yelled at you, and I slammed the door, and now I have fucking five hundred people telling me that I'm beating my brother. No. So yeah, it hasn't been a good day for me. Well, that didn't happen, <laughs> and I have this all recorded. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, would you be opposed to me uploading this as your testimony? I. I don't know. I don't think it'll fix anything. Well, I'm currently getting <laughs> yelled at to get off the microphone. Yeah, I know. It's all. <laughs> but I don't. I don't know what to do. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> How do you defend yourself against something that just didn't happen? We'll figure it out. I gotta go. <laughs> Please don't go. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm leaving. Sometimes, brothers fight. He's not. He's not some evil person who should be canceled over this. Hate him if you want, but it doesn't fix anything. I will admit, I really wish that side of me was not on the internet because I didn't know my fucking brother was recording that until after the conversation had ended. Now. Tech Tone, I know you're gonna see this, so let me make something very clear. You better not watch this on stream. The drama is done. It ends here. You really want to excommunicate me? Don't talk about me. Don't talk about my family. Say the fuck out of our business. It is none of your concern. You can claim all you want that you didn't mean for this to happen, but the fact of the matter is you jumped the gun, you went in on something you knew nothing about, completely uneducated, and tried to paint the picture that I'm some emo emotional and physical abuser just because of one fight that I had with my sibling on stream. It was none of your business to begin with. You shouldn't have been involved. Even my brother says you shouldn't have been involved and he has asked you to stop, and yet you continue. If you really care so much, you wouldn't have made that video straight up lying about the entire situation to make me look bad. That all being said, Mr. Tectone, that's gonna be the end of this video, and quite frankly, the end of your connection to me. Not that it existed to begin with. Now, for those of you that supported me in the situation, thank you, I really appreciate it, but to be fair, 
I didn't really need your support, don't get me wrong, I am thankful, but all I really give a shit about is my brother and me. And at the end of the day, most of the people leaving these hate comments don't know shit about the situation, didn't do any research, and they're not the type of people I want in my audience to begin with, so I don't really care. But anyway, I'm gonna go get dinner with my brother in a few hours, so I need to go get ready for that. See you on the next video. Stay safe, everyone. Peace, peace, and we'll be back to normal next time.